30 minutes into it after their whole relationship he comes home and i guess like the mob is there and they have bags over both their heads and they both get suffocated to death tragic right like they didn't even get to date all too long but then the love actually resurrects him from the dead and he becomes the crow and then he goes back to apartment the mob is still after him shoots him with the shotgun and he dies again again but then he needs to become the crow again again and this time he's really the crow not like the last time where you know he just got shot and got killed again <laughs> so this time he's actually like stronger like he put on muscle because he needed to upgrade because the first time he was the crow it wasn't good enough <laughs> so he shoots that guy in the face and then another guy beats the guy with the gun like a michael myers like don't just shoot him just beat him like the gun's a bat then there's the main villain i thought you're just supposed to kill the guy who killed your girlfriend and stuff but whatever i guess this guy escaped hell by sending innocent people to hell and he does that by like whispering in your ear yeah he does it to like two people in the movie and then they like off themselves but then the crow's like hey i gotta kill this guy and what better time to do it when he's visiting an opera for some reason and he has like a huge security detail or it's just opera security i don't know if they're like bad guys too but he pretty much goes off on all of them <laughs> with a sword and sometimes he uses a gun but not really and he just eats bullets and like i think he heals like wolverine but they said it hurts but it doesn't seem like he's hurt or maybe he's a jockey maybe he's on cocaine too and his blood is black a bit so you go oh when he's like bl uh, black blood that means he's like super powered and he gets a sword and here's a dude right there smack that wasn't a sword or a gun just a curt stop this whole sequence is awesome you're like wow i wish this was like the whole movie but there's pretty much just two action pieces in this whole thing and this is the main one and he's just getting shot up too like i don't know man it has some defense i know you can heal and everything but it looks like it takes a lot out of you and you're getting shot up maybe wear a bulletproof vest or something like that at least cut down some of the damage on yourself a little bit and the guy's like coming up on him like hey dude is this guy really dead nope <laughs> throws him out of a window and then he really doesn't even care because he gets stabbed with his own sword but instead of stabbing him back he's like i'll shoot through me to shoot the guy and then stab another guy one once i have the sword inside like me. wolverine can heal and everything too but he's just not like well i'll just stab myself and stab other people with the sword sticking out my chest and everything like, come on, man, he plays a little bit of defense. It seems like, hey, man, I'm wasting all my healing powers on these low levels. These opera guards. What about the people who actually killed the girlfriend? Did he actually kill them? Yeah, and it seems like he didn't really quite understand his powers all too much then. So it's like, oh, you're going to waste all your health on nothing, really. Just seems really dumb. <laughs> the other action piece he actually just like well let me just get run over by this car and then start fighting him inside the car right and to the driver too i don't know man why don't you stop and try to fight this guy why you gotta keep driving even though you just got shot in the face maybe that's security protocol or something like hey i can't stop driving in case someone's chasing me which they aren't it's just this guy <laughs> but i guess they don't know that so all this shooting and fighting and he's almost got his main target the old lady back there mid-aged lady and this very old man who's too old to be security guard i guess he's in super like sylvester stallone old man strength you know pistol whips him a bit opens the door and kicks this fucking guy out <laughs> And he gets run over by a diesel truck. It looked like it tore him up everything, dude. Not just his leg, but I guess his legs really messed up. But man, a diesel truck hits you like that, you are totally, totally messed up. Maybe like Terminator, that fool got run over by a diesel truck too and just messed up his leg. Maybe that's why they did that, but I guess he could heal, but you gotta sort of line up your bones so they connect and everything. So he needs to like pop it back in place or like lethal weapon, like popping your shoulder back into place, but it's your compound fractured leg. 
He eventually got to kill that one girl, like chop it off her head, and I think she was just like the wife of the devil guy. And when he actually got to the devil guy, he had him dead to rights with like a sword through his throat, but it's like, nah, man, I'll let you have a speech. And they got close to him and whispered to him, so he almost failed another time, <laughs> but you dragged him into like that midway place with all the crows flying around and everything. It's supposed to be like uh, purgatory or something. And then he beats him and kills him again, and the demons drive that dude to hell. He falls into the water, and I guess uh, he saves his girlfriend from going to hell, and she comes back to life, but he dies. Or they're both alive, or it's a different universe. I don't know, but that's an ending, I guess.